respecting the money, right? Especially other people's money. If you're in a leadership position, when you have, you know, fiscal responsibilities over a budget or number of budgets, operating capital, other investments, it is really important to be mindful. While it's not technically yours, right? You're not, it's not something you're paying out of your own paycheck, your salary, your own investments. You've been entrusted with resources of that organization. And as such, I urge everyone to take that very seriously. And I don't mean this just because of legal issues and troubles that one can get into if they're abusing funding that they have been entrusted with, but because of morals and ethics. If your budget is 10 million a year, that doesn't mean, and if you can get everything accomplished for nine, that doesn't mean you should blow the last million on stupid things in the last 30 days of your fiscal year. Be mindful how you invest money and other resources into both operating the services that are needed and present and available to your community today, as well as how do you find ways to introduce new solutions for years to come. So just wanted to make a point about this based on some of my own personal experiences and a couple of meetings and calls I've attended in the last week or so. And I came across a number of folks who, not in my current organization, but in some others where I was asked to kind of weigh in on some projects, where they are very um, loosely defining what proper investments and strategies are, and no one is looking at the whole puzzle. They're looking at maybe two or three adjoining puzzle pieces, not the whole thing. And that could almost always spell trouble with enough time. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best if this is the first video you see. Please consider subscribing and sharing this video with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments on the topic I just covered below this video. Have a wonderful day.